It has been said that the Minnesota Valley National Wildlife Refuge thrives among the shadows of skyscrapers. The refuge makes up Bloomington's southern border, comprised of 23 acres along the Minnesota River. Stretching from the urban sights and sounds of Bloomington to the prairie pothole landscapes of rural Minnesota. Today, some 300,000 people visit this place to enjoy our wildlife at which it calls home. On November 5th, U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Sally Jewell, visited Bloomington's Urban Wildlife Refuge with some big news. Um, announcing today and uh, the release of the Banking on Nature report. This is something done every five years by the Fish and Wildlife Service economists working in conjunction with uh, others. It's a, a new nationwide report. It's based on data that's the most recent that we have available. And uh, Wildlife Refuges hosted 46.5 million visits. And that pumped at least $2.4 billion into local economies and supported more than 35,000 jobs. While those numbers are incredibly positive, the value of national resource preservation is measured in so many other ways. It's restaurants, it's gas stations, it's uh, outfitters, uh, it's transportation, it's hospitality like the Hilton next door. But they also are driving visitors to the refuge and they're making that experience of coming to Minneapolis St. Paul a little different than maybe what those visitors thought. They're getting a taste of Minnesota that you don't get when you just spend time downtown. In Minnesota alone, National Wildlife Refuges are responsible for 1,200 jobs and just shy of $90 million in economic activity. For every dollar spent in the National Wildlife Refuge system through the Fish and Wildlife Service, it returns $5 just in economic activity. And that's not looking at what it returns to our children, what it returns to our ecosystems and uh, their future, and what defines us as the United States of America. Open your eyes and see the beauty in Bloomington. Explore the Minnesota Valley National Wildlife Refuge today.